Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the greatest common factor lesson in Rational Numbers Unit. Today's target is that I can find the greatest common factor of two or more numbers. Couple things to think about when we're learning about greatest common factor, GCF. We know that the word greatest means the largest or big. Common means the things that we have in common or that they are the same. And factor, we remember, is a number that is used to multiply, it makes up a product. So used to multiply. So it's very clear on what we're looking for. So some vocabulary that's important is factor. Term factor means doer. Everyday meaning is that something that actively contributes to decision or result. So you might say, um, the weather play a, played a factor, okay? So the weather was a reason that something, maybe your sporting event was canceled. Um, the mathematical meaning is two and three are factors of six. So the connection there is that a factor helps to make a decision, and in mathematics, they make up a product. So factors are the numbers that you put together to make a product, the numbers you put together to multiply. A multiple, then, means plex or meaning full. So an everyday meaning is that um, it's consisting of more than one or shared by many. So you might say I have multiple siblings, meaning I have more than one. Or your parents might say I have multiple children, I have more than one. Um, I play multiple sports, so again, more than one. Multiples of two, for example, are zero, two, four, and six. So the connection here is that multiples mean many, and in mathematics, a number has an infinitely many multiples infinitely, meaning they'll go on forever. I could keep multiplying two forever and ever. More vocabulary. This is a Venn diagram, and this is just getting us ready and asking us to think about what greatest common factor might mean. So the Venn diagram is talking about the prime factors that 12 and 18 share, or that each one has individually. So the factors in the overlapping section, what do you think those mean? The product of 2 and 3 also is the product of 2 and 3, meaning 6, also a factor of 12 and 18. So they're wondering, if I multiply those together, is that still a factor of 12 and 18? Well, that's 6. 6 and 2 multiply for 12. 6 and 3 multiply for 18. And then last question um, is, what if you made, and you don't have to do this right now, but thinking about if I made a Venn diagram showing the prime factors of 12 and 20, could I identify them? So this is something that we'll practice. You're welcome to try it now as well. Just a way to show similarities of numbers and differences of numbers. So keep in mind that a Venn diagram uses overlapping circles to show how many common elements among sets of numbers or objects are related. So that's a fancy way of saying this is a good way to show what two things have in common and not in common. Um, they can help us with common factors, so we're going to work now on finding our greatest common factor of numbers. So there's going to be two methods to find the greatest common factor. One would be just to list the factors. So if I'm looking for the greatest common factor of 18 and 48, I can list 18 and list the factors, meaning list the numbers that multiply to get to 18. So I have 1 times 18 gives me 18. 2 times 9 gives me 18. 3 times 6 gives me 18. 4 doesn't, 5 doesn't, and I'm back to 6. So my factors are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. For 48, my factors are 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 3 and 16, 4 and 12, 6 and 8. So those are a long, longer list because it's a larger number. And so I look for my factors that are in common are 1, 2, 3, 6. So those are all the ones that are in common, but I'm looking for the greatest common factor. So the largest factor they have in common is 6. 
So the greatest common factor that 18 and 48 share is 6. Another method is to use prime factorization. So I could use prime factorization by finding the prime numbers of 18, like we did last time. And the prime factors there are 2 times 3 squared, or 2 times 3 times 3. For 48, I find my prime numbers. And I see that that is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is the same as 2 to the 4th times 3. So common factors, I look at, they have, this as a 2, this has a 2, common factor is 3, common factor 3. So since they both have 2 times 3 in common, well, 2 times 3 is 6, their greatest common factor is 6. So kind of decide what method you like best and give it a try. I'll do both for you. So 8 and 10. I'm going to list my factors here. 1 times 8. Notice how I start from the bottom. 2 and 4. And there's no other factors. So my factors are 1, 2, and 4, and 8. For factors of 10, it's 1 and 10, 2 and and 5, and nothing else. So my common factors, we have 1, we have 2. 2 is the largest of those. Greatest common factor of 8 and 10 is 2. And see, prime numbers here. Let's see if we can find those. So I'm going to break do prime factorizations to show you. So that's 2 times 3 prime, 12, it's going to be of 2 and 6, 2 and 3, so notice we have 2 times 3 and 2 times 2 times 3, so the ones we have in common are 2 and 3, 2 times 3 is 6, so our greatest common factor here is 6. 10 and 17, so 10's factors are 1, 2, 5 and 10, 17 is 1 and 17, 17's prime, so our greatest common factor with any prime number is going to be 1. Ta-da! Hope you're feeling good about that. Rewind where you need to. I write down some questions if you have them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this, I'm going to change this one to a 24 because I want to see something. Um, this one, you're going to find the greatest common factor of three numbers. So I'm going to do this by making a factor tree for each one, finding the common factors. So 2 and 6, 2 and 3. So that's 2 times 2 times 3. For 24, I'm going to do that's a 2 and a 12, 2 and 6, 2 and 3 for prime factorization of 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. And lastly, 60, 2 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 5, for 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So look for your common factors. So we have 2, 2, and 2 in each one, 2, 2, and 2, we also have 3, 3, and 3. So we're looking at multiplying 2 times 2 times 3, which is 4 times 3, which is 12. So the greatest common factor of these numbers is 12. Try these two using any method you'd like, and then check back in. For this first one, I'm going to list... 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, 5 times 6. For 45, the factors are 1 and 45, 
3 and 15, 5 and 9. For 75, the factors are 1 times 75, 3 times 25, 5 times 15. So we look for our greatest, so we look for ones in common, ones in common, threes in common, fives in common, and 15 is in common. So 15 is the greatest of them, so the greatest common factor is 15. This next one I think I'm going to try my factor trees. So 42 would be 2 and 21, 3 and 7, those are prime. So it's 2 times 3 times 7. For 70, it would be 2 and 35, which is 5 and 7. Those are all primes. So it would be 2 times 5 times 7. And then for 84, it would be 2 times 42, 2 and 21, 3 and 7. So we'd have 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. For those of you that maybe need to line it up a little bit differently to help you be more visual, you could line it up as 2 times 3 times 7, 2 times 5 times 7, and 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. So you could see the ones that are in common more easily. So I see my 2s are in common, and my 7s are in common because this middle one doesn't have a 3. So that's 2 times 7 for a greatest common factor of 14. All right, last one here. You guys are being very patient. It's great. This is a word problem that's going to be helpful because this, and we'll watch a little video on this as well. Um, the Irish cheerleaders are making spirit ribbons for an upcoming spirit week. Blue ribbons come in a 24-inch spool. Green ribbon comes in a 30-inch spool. And gold ribbon comes in a 36-inch spool. The cheerleaders want to cut strips in equal length and use the entire spool for every ribbon. So we're wondering what is the length of the longest, also known as greatest, piece of ribbon that can be cut from each spool. So we're trying to figure out what's the greatest factor cutting, right? We're going to cut them into pieces that work. So we're looking for greatest common factor. So 24, 1 and 24. 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. For 30, it's 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 5 and 6. For 36, it's 1 and 36, 2 and 18. 3 and 12, 4 and 9, and then 6 times 6. We don't write 6 twice then. So our greatest common factor that we see is 6. So we can cut them into 6-inch ribbons. Then it asks, how many could be cut from each ribbon if they're cut into 6-inch pieces? So for blue, it's 24 divided by 6-inch pieces. We can have 4. For green, it's 30 divided by into 6 inch pieces, you get 5, and 4, gold, <laughs> 36 into 6 inch pieces, we can get 6. So you can add those together, whoopsie for 11 inches, or some of you could have said there was a total of 24 plus 30 plus 36 total inches of ribbon, which is 90, and then divide that by 6, and we still, oops, I meant to write 15 there. What was I thinking? And we still get 15 inches of the total ribbon. Got a little messy there, but you guys did a nice job staying with me. Um, do your best and come to class with questions. Rewatch what you need to.